Sleeves and Kuala, but can he recover? That's the question. Using that strength. And absolutely, boys, Sanchez to the floor. No foul whatsoever. Again, fantastic recovery. And we got ourselves another attack. We nearly got through then. If that wasn't evidence of what he can do, I don't know what else I can show. That was unbelievable recovery right there. We are looking at the brand new 88 rated team of the year honorable mentions. Saliba, six foot four, medium high, two star, three star. Accelerate type, lengthy. Can only play centre back now. He's got absolutely fantastic acceleration sprint speed for a guy with that lengthy. Especially with the good at ball control reactions. Fantastic short and long pass. Of course, defensive stats are really good. Header and accuracy could be a little bit of a problem. We'll have to see. But really good strength, aggression, and jump in. In terms of play styles, we've got power header, bruiser, anticipate plus, which I think is the best one for a defender, intercept, and jockey. Now, if we jump over to footman very quickly, you can see here that it gives him 93 pace and 96 defending, which overall makes him into a 93 rated centre back. Now, I have dropped him for my icon Blanc that I did the SBC at the start. I do have UCL Vincent Company next to him, so I'm interested to see how he does for us today. Now, I went for a shadow, which really to maximise that defending and pace. We are be playing in playoffs or weekend league players, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to see how we go on. Now, I used to think his goal card was really, really broken. So I'm interested to see how he does for us today. And let's just get into the review and see how Saliba does. If you need help in FC24, I've got the best solution. Head over to skycoach.gg where you can get boost in weekend league rivals. You can buy FC coins as well as get yourself 10% off on all orders when you use code NANIC. Link will be in the description down below. There is nothing stopping you and go ahead and get those boosts you need. So let's have a look at our opponent's team then. Interesting here. Oh, very good attack. So we've got a nice attack. A lot of pace on the left and right-hand side as well. Saliba's job, of course, is just to shut down the attack, get some of that anticipate tackles in, and then be able to transition into midfield. Now, I'm not going to be dragging him out of position or anything like that. We are going to be playing how we would normally play. And we're going to go give him the ball straight away to see how he is. Now, you can see he's going to be on this left-hand side for us. And he basically, you're going to see how he feels. Now, he is a big guy in game. You can see how big he is compared to Abdallah Pele. In terms of left stick, feels very good on the dribble so far. I'm interested to see what his recovery speed's like in certain situations. But let's just see how we get on in this game and see how Saliba does for us. That ball through. Lovely pass there into transition. Little shot off and a good save. So we've got to the first corner here. Uh, Saliba picks the ball up, drills it straight away. Nice passing. His driven pass, for sure, is very, very quick. Again, Saliba on the ball, using that composure, good little drive out. So far, it's a bit of a 50-50 game, nothing too crazy there. What just happened with the animation there, though? It's Saliba now, I've lunged in by accident, that's not very good defending, got away with it. Bit of a weird lunging animation there, I don't know what happened, but it's okay. And we have got ourselves a 1-0 lead now, let's see if our opponent comes and attacks us. A bit of a bad touch here, Saliba's got to come out, just trying to hold off the space at the minute, feels quick, quick on that. Left stick dribbling. Oh, that's a great pass in. He's going to score from that as well. Good goal. Fortunately, I'm trying to get some clips with him, but our opponent is basically avoiding the centre-backs like the plague, which I don't blame him. I didn't see what Saliba's recovery speed is like. Against Abdali Pele, we're rapid. Nowhere to go. Don't mind to play the boy over the top. See that Saliba's already running back into position for us. And then there he is at the top of the pitch. So he looks like he's got quite quick recovery. Dragged out. So he's got to come over. Forces him into the pass. Not a problem. Saliba with the interception, love that. Now we've got a counter-attack. Saliba again with another interception. So if we can get something out of this. Saliba on the ball, he's going to drill it first time. What a ball in. Oh, should have had an assist there. And we are back in the lead again, 2-1. Straight into Saliba's feet. Ball over the top. Good long ball in. Oh, for some reason Hullet didn't want it. Now we've got to have a bit of a situation here. Again, yeah, Saliba with another interception. That's three in this game alone. In terms of passing, he can't break him down. Can't get through. Haven't had a chance to do a stand tackle with him yet. Well, an accurate one, that is, anyway. Saliba against Hernandez. Lovely defensive header as well. Just shutting that down. The long balls, he's not getting any success in. Good left stick dribble. And there's a poor pass there. Need that tackle to come in. And there it is. That big tackle. They made a mistake, but instantly makes up for it. And we've been very, very unlucky not to capitalise on that. As his keeper's made a terrible mistake here. Oof. Bit of a situation here. Saliba again, gets that tackle in, knocks it out wide. He's switching it, he wants to get away from Saliba. I don't blame him, to be honest. Saliba's been absolutely crunching our opponent. 
Again, a massive interception. Bit composure to get out and a lovely through ball into Thierry Henry. He's going to use that pace to get past Bombastor. And this has all come from Saliba, by the way, with that interception. And he gets himself an assist as well. Saliba with the interception. Frubel out to Omri, and Omri's pace down the byline. And this card has been really, really consistent so far. The goal we conceded wasn't Saliba's fault. It was mainly down to me, but he went out wide. But we went to show his performances so far. You can see he's got an 8.4. Yes, he just has got that assist. Don't get me wrong. But we have a look here. 10 out of 10 dribbles complete. Obviously, no shots. He has got 13 out of 15 passes. And they're not just short passes. They've been long through balls as well. And you can see here, two out of four tackles, one, five interceptions. That's how clinical he has been. Four out of four offensive duels, one, and then three out of four defensive, and 100% in aerial duels. So you can see there, he's just dominating our opponent right now, doing all the boring jobs, winning the ball, and just making sure that we are very, very solid. Now, hopefully our opponent does get a bit more attack, and he's playing very, very passive. You know what I mean by that is he's sort of passing around, taking his time, looking for the space, and Saliba's just not giving him that space whatsoever. Like, for example, here, you can pick it up. Ping it out wide if you like to do the old uh, switcheroos as they were. And you can move on to the next one. Now, if he makes a mistake, we've already seen he's already made up for it once. And his recovery speed, we haven't really had been able to test just yet. But you can see, though, even on the ball, just quick one first touch passes in. He can get out of the situation, no problem. And that's down to that really high passing statistics. There we go now. I think he's got a way through. But don't worry, it's offside. But it doesn't matter anyway. Saliba's recovered. And again, another interception for Saliba there. Even though it was offside, he still caught up, managed to overtake, get the ball, and then carry on going. Right, ball out. And we got ourselves another goal there, 4-1. Opponent's not quitting, though, so I do respect him for hustling and trying to get through. Second man press, Saliba just holding on for a minute, just shutting down any of the passing lanes, nowhere to go. The jockey, when you hold down L2 or left trigger, is very, very fast in recovery. As you can see, I'm just using him at the moment just to test it out. Not going to drive him out of position here. And we get ourselves a goal again, the goal kick even. But his left stick on the, on the jockey is very quick. Ball over the top. Again, perfectly weighted pass over the top. Mbappe gets that space, of course, what he does best. And we've got that switch at the bottom. Can we find it? Of course. We can. Look how good his passing is. And then Carfu does that for us, unfortunately. But you can just see how consistent he is with it. Maybe he's come out. Great tackle. Now he can drive forward a little bit. Nowhere to go. I don't really want to drag him out of position too far. But again, he intercepted that. And now we've got ourselves another option. Shot across goal and a fantastic save from Allison. What a save that was. But again, you can see there even Saliba pushing up, making that tackle. So he's been caught out. But can he recover? That's the question. Using that strength. And absolutely, boys, Sanchez to the floor. No foul whatsoever. Again, fantastic recovery. And we got ourselves another attack. We nearly got through then. If that wasn't evidence of what he can do, I don't know what else I can show. That was unbelievable recovery right there. And we got another goal as well, 5-1. It looks like a rage quits incoming as well. And you can just see with Saliba what he can and can't do. Very, very good on the ball. Fantastic with the jockey when you hold down left trigger or L2 when you don't have the ball. You can see he got a 9.0. Even though he conceded a goal, 16 out of 16 dribbles complete. That's how good he was on the dribble. But the most impressive thing for me was his passing. 20 out of 22 passes complete. You can see there the long switches, the through balls, everything he was doing was really, really consistent. And then the tackles. Five interceptions, four out of four, as you know. Just overall, a really consistent defender. Now, let's go compare him to some other defenders that are in the game, and I'll be back in a second. So here's what the team's looking at. And as you can see, I've got company UCL here, and we've got Saliba. Now, Saliba has got better pace, worse shooting, but better passing, better dribbling, the same physical, and one less defending than UCL company. We had to check what his price is at the moment. It's around the same price as what Saliba is. Now, I do have Blanc as well. And we were to compare him to Blanc. You can see how good he is as well. And with Blanc in the team, you can see here, Saliba's got better pace, worse shooting, better passing, better dribbling, the exact same defending, and better physical. Now, they are the same rated, and they have the same playstyle plus in terms of um, anticipate. But you can see here, he's got power header, whereas Blanc has aerial. In terms of their height, I'm pretty sure they're around the same height as well. 6'4", 6'4", so they are. They've got the same work rates. So if you did not do Blanc as an SBC, Saliba is a really good shout as the same. Yes, he doesn't get the icon links. But let's go jump over to Footbin now and talk about Chemstyles. So as we make our way over to Chemstyles here, just wanted to talk about one thing quickly, and that's going to be about his Winter Wildcard. Now, yes, Winter Wildcard is 250,000 coins, but he has got intercepts. Whereas this card has got plus ones on it, so nothing too crazy, but anticipate. So it honestly comes down to your playstyle, which one you prefer more. 
Now, anticipate is when you press B or circle on your controller to tackle. They anticipate the movement. They win the ball statistically higher. Whereas intercept means he runs in front of the pass and intercepts the ball. Now, we saw in this review alone how many interceptions he has. And let me explain why he was so good at that. As you can see here, defensive awareness at 91 is one of the main reasons, as well as having really high composure as well to help him keep in the position and drive through and, of course, have an interception at 88. Now, if we were to go over to the shadow, puts him on 96 interceptions, 95 defensive awareness, and overall turns him into an absolute monster. Him being lengthy is also a really good bonus because what lengthy does, it means they get quicker over time the longer they sprint, which means if you were to drag him out of position and turn around, as long as he's got a lot of pitch to run into, he's going to catch up and overtake. And overall, a really consistent card. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.